everybody and welcome back to RC time uh, I've set the airplane up now I've got a, the wings across the two benches so that I can put the fuselage on um, so I can now do the dark green across the wings and have it blend in so it matches the uh, skirtings on the fuselage so uh, it seems pretty straight that's uh, close enough yeah uh, so you get that done um, I think the dark green will need another coat in places you can see a few light bits um, yeah in general it's sort of coming on quite well and uh, again still using the same paint uh, still using the Tamiya I know it's a a model paint I know it's water based um, instead of thinning it with water I thin it with alcohol but that's uh, not a lot leafler than water um, so but like I said to you on a previous video I get on very well with it does a very good job and once the um, matte varnish hardener is on it it seems to wear well um, and last well that hasn't given me any problems at all uh, it's quite light as well you use very little of it I mean each one of these bottles has only got uh, 20 mil I think no 10 mil and then I double that up with 10 mil of alcohol to thin it um, so yeah you're spraying on 20 mil, mil from one of these jars it takes about eight jars ten jars to do an airplane of this size so by the time you take away the alcohol because that evaporates out you aren't putting a lot of weight on the airplane with it anyway um, we'll get on and get this sprayed see how it goes yeah.
There we go. So it's now all had one coat as far as the dark green go. Um, it's definitely a few fadey places that I can see so it definitely wants a second coat which uh, can be done easily now the line and out and mark and how it's done. If you when you do your second coat if you go over a little it don't really matter you know so and this is all rough spray I like it like that I like it so it blends um yeah hopefully it's going to start looking quite effective as it gets finished now you've still got the varnish to go on it um but the varnish is a matte varnish so it isn't going to get no shinier than what this paint is at the moment anyway but it will give it a finishing effect because i mean at the moment if i run my hands over here it feels like well oh, maybe i could wet and dry that again you know, uh, so yeah, but um, once you put the varnish on it, the matte varnish on it, that will take that away and she'll feel nice and smooth again and that will firm up the paint. So, but you can see on the tail plane there, I can see a few bits of light and I can see, see through the dark green. Um, some bits there that are light I can see through the dark green no doubt when these wings dry there'll be a few lighter patches um, but it's better to you know keep the paint light there we go. Uh, keep the paint light and uh, do two coats and it is to try and put it on too thick or too too much color all at once and end up with a mess 
So there we have it. So another couple of sessions given this a second coat. Um, I know I've got some touching up to do on the yellow on this one because uh, some overspray went on there. Um, and then hopefully we can uh, get the insert the frog tape off and uh, varnish. And then we'll leave it two or three days to go hard. Uh, then we can get it put together in the spare room again. Um, just go through all the functionality of it again. Uh, redo and check the CG. Double check and triple check everything like CG, aileron movements, elevator movements, uh, stuff like that. Um, and hopefully she'll be ready for a test flight. So, yeah, um, we're now coming to the end of May. So she should be ready for June. So that will be nice. And uh, I won't do the test flight until I know I've got someone there with a camera. Um, even if it's just some still shots and stuff for you. But I'll try and get some film of it. So, you know, for you... Those of you who have followed this build all the way through, you know, it's nice to see it crash or not crash. <laughs> Hopefully it won't crash, but we will see when it fly. So, it all looks quite good. I'm quite pleased in general. So, yeah, weight-wise I'd say she's within parameters. Probably about three and a half kilos without the battery, so she could be about four and a half kilos with the battery um, I forget what it did say but I don't think we're far off what they were recommending there um, I think it was around about eight to nine pound which is probably about four and a half kilos um, weight uh, yeah hopefully that will fly we shall see all right thank you for watching and uh, I'll talk to you all soon all right. Have a good week. Bye-bye.